Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, you're very welcome. My name is Busi Ngwana Poswa and today's video I am going to be doing a makeup therapy video. So I decided that this was going to be my first video for 2022 because child, we all went through it. 2021, okay? We all went through it. So I am going to be talking about my struggles starting over losing loved ones and also we're gonna be looking pretty okay i'm gonna be doing my makeup so i find it to be very therapeutic to actually watch makeup therapy videos from other youtubers that's why i decided that i also want to do one so i hope that you guys will enjoy this video and if you do please do not leave without subscribing um liking commenting join your beautiful family do the most for your girl so anyways, 2021 has been rough, okay? Yo, it has been rough. And till now, I'm still trying to recover from it. Um, that is why sometimes I post inconsistently. I post and then I disappear and then I post. By the way, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I want to scream, but I won't. But yeah, I really want to scream, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much so let's get straight into the video so i have been struggling a lot um especially with my mental health because of the many things that i actually had to face i had to let go of so 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 many things including loved ones so it has been really 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 rough so the supposed that i am today i was not years ago um minanje i really really didn't care we are shaming again i'm seven i didn't care about life um i used to live life as if there was no tomorrow partying friends and everything else um and then after that i fell pregnant and had to drop out and you know i felt like that was my lesson um from life and it was like the one lesson that life was teaching me so i had to dust myself up and go back to school and you know i worked really 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 hard towards my diploma um when i got the second chance to actually do it so after doing it for the second time i was actually expecting life to be kinder to me and i was expecting to okay um you are now a mother and jay you are trying independence see even in the movies like if somebody toys with life and they learn a lesson because life will humble you and then you learn your lesson after that you go to varsity and you study harder and then you come back you're driving a mercedes you know i made a mistake so that was the kind of thing that i was expecting to happen after my second chance at life so i actually went to school i studied hard i obtained my diploma and after that, I was expecting life to go on. And I was expecting things to actually happen for me. I was expecting to get a job um, and be able to, you know, be independent and do things for my baby. You know? So I was expecting something like that. Unfortunately, life didn't go that way and it didn't happen the way I was expecting it. So I had to come to terms with that and I had to accept that it's not happening. And then after that, COVID striked. Yes, the first lockdown, second lockdown, and you're understanding, Muguti. There's no way you're getting a job under these circumstances. People are actually losing jobs and where now you are trying to get one. So, like, that was one of the things that, you know, I had to let go of and be like, okay, you know what? It's not going to happen. 
even the cause that I chose, I feel like it was a wrong choice for me because it doesn't have that much opportunity. So now you're in that space and you're thinking, oh my God, I have somebody who is dependent on me and I cannot even get a job, like a decent job. I went to school, I tried my best and it, it's just not happening. But it's understandable. It's understandable that people are losing jobs and y- you you may look for one but you're not really expecting it to happen. So yeah, I was stuck between a rock and a hard place because I really, really, really needed to get my life together because now I have a baby and this is like a second chance already and i just need to make the most of it and i was really really struggling mentally because people when you talk about these things when you talk about the fact that you're unemployed you went to school and because you want a better life and now you're not getting a job so when you talk about when you talk about this thing to other people they will tell you ah oh, your time is coming um and those are the things that you already know you already know that your time is coming things are going to happen but you just need to vent um some people will tell you we'll see go look for any other job that is out there pride won't pay your bills and people don't really understand how hard it is to actually not really give up but to pack your dreams in a drawer somewhere and go look for something anything So it's like really, really hard. So you will struggle mentally and financially, sometimes physically, because child, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy to work really, really hard and just, you know, work towards a goal and see it not happening and just look at your life and think, yo, I should be here, but you're not. So it's hard. It's really, really hard. And people will judge you and be like, I just go look for anything. Do anything. So the one person that I could talk to about my struggles was my brother. Um, He is now late. We lost him last year, July. July 2021. So he passed on. And yeah i had to like accept that i no longer have a brother because he was like my one and only brother and he gave me a lot a lot of hope like loads and loads of hope because i could talk to him about anything he was younger than me um he would be turning 21 next week anyways yeah we used to talk about the things i used to tell him about the fact that unemployment is hard and how hard it is to actually be doing something that you don't even like simply because you just you need to make a living so for me to be honest at first when I was choosing something to do like a career and going to university I chose agriculture because I felt like you know what there are a million opportunities there let me just do it um and whatever else that i want to do i will do after because my parents are very very strict and when it comes to education they don't play okay at least in kotlisen a diploma and then so yeah that is what my dad used to say like go to school i don't care if you're an artist or whatever just just go to school and so my brother and I were like very, 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 very similar because he was also like super smart at school um, and was also artistic and he used to love art. He used to love to draw and everything else. So like we had the same struggle because you're an artist, but you're very smart and your people and your parents see a lot of potential in you. Yo, hi. And my brother was very smart at school. So, like, my parents used to say, Yo, I see the scientist. But, yeah, now personally, he just saw himself as an actor. So, his one, one dream was to be an actor. 
and my parents were like nah you're going to school first so we used to relate because I'm also like a very artistic person I love doing makeup I love drawing you know anything that involves me using my hands I just I love it so we used to sit together and talk about it and talk about how we have to finish these diplomas and then just you know get jobs to sponsor our dreams um and yeah we used to talk about it a lot um and now that he is gone i feel so lost like i'm lost because i literally have no one to talk to i literally have no one to vent to anymore because he used to be like the only person that i could talk to about these things and these may seem like small issues but they really really affect you mentally so yeah after lockdown i then decided that you know what i'm going to start on my dreams i'm just going to do my youtube channel and i'm just going to try and push and i'll still be looking for a job but you know what let me just you know get a head start over here and after his passing i feel like i don't know if i sound crazy but i feel like he moved something for me because my channel has been growing since and i feel like he is being <laughs> i don't know i feel like he's really really pushing things for me there in heaven and i just you know i feel like he wants me to do it for both of us so yeah i hope he's really proud and yeah i'm going to push my channel so much this year so that i do it for both of us anyways um I have had to overcome a lot of things and if I had to talk about everything I don't know this video would be six hours long that is why I decided that this was going to be like the first thing that I'm going to talk about and I'm still going to do more videos where we actually talk about our daily struggles um, anyways I have had to start my life over and over and over again and I don't know I just I cannot give up on myself I can give up on a lot of things I always give up on men you guys know me you guys know me if you are a returning sabi and like you're part of the family you know how many stories I have where I had to leave men and had to give up on my relationships so yeah I always like give up on other things but one thing I'm not giving up on is myself and yeah it's not gonna happen no yeah because no matter what happens um, I'm not switching up on myself okay I can give up on a lot but not me and I'm not giving up on my dreams okay no it is one of the things that I'm super proud of um and no matter what happens <laughs> you guys mean i suffer okay i struggle so so much even today when it comes to editing filming you know, when i have to film you guys you don't know as <laughs> when i have to film a lot happens and so many things are against me but you know what this girl is not giving up ever 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 Yesterday I actually got burnt, but yo, that's a story for another day. Um, so yeah, I hope that I will be able to do another video like this one where we actually um, talk about my daily struggles and other struggles that we are actually facing because I feel like talking makes things better. So yeah, this was my makeup therapy video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, please do like comments i love reading comments even though sometimes i get so overwhelmed when i have to reply and i really can't reply to all of them but yeah i really 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 love reading comments and thank you so much guys for the endless support um 
from the bottom of my heart guys i just got 10k subscribers and <laughs> you guys like in a space of two months three months because i was celebrating 1000 subscribers in september last year and then like october i got to 2k november december january um i just got 10k yo guys thank you so much for the support i promise you guys that i'm coming in with the content okay i am coming back with the story times and the beautiful content so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on my next video bye